DIY Pulse Oximeter Assembling Probe Hey guys, it's DIY Pulse Oximeter I developed. In the previous video, I introduced the internal structure of this DIY Pulse Oximeter. In this video, I will show you how to assemble the probe part. Ok, let's get started. First, printing 3D parts. Download probe STL files from my website. Please note that this page is being edited now. Some contents may change. Download the zip file for the probe from the download list. Unzip the file and open it with STL slicer to create G code. I used Cura. Its recommended slice parameters. Please adjust some value according to your printer characteristics. STL file already contains supporter. In order to reduce the warp, infill density should be small. The material should be black ABS to reduce ambient light. Printing is finished. Second, Raspin LED. Process red and IR LEDs as shown in this video. Use 3D printed parts to make the flat surface. Deburr the 3D printed parts using 5mm drill. At first, use this high angle parts. Insert the LED so that the rasping side is the anode. If the LED is wobbled, make it slightly thicker with tape and press fit. Rasping. Next, use the slow angle parts. In this time, insert the LED so that the rasping side is the cathode. Rasping. Make IR and red same shape. Cut off the edge on the anode to avoid interference. That's all. Third, assembling photo transistor circuit. To reduce noise, embed the photo transistor amplification circuit in the probe. Schematic, Gerber files and parts list can download from my website. You can also assemble with a universal board or no board. Photo transistor has polarity. Most of emitter has longer wire, but please check with the data sheet. Make sure that the height of the solder should be 1 mm or less so that it does not interfere with the cover. One piece of lead is needed for body ground. That's all. Fourth, removing the burr and support.
The LED holes are deburring with a 5mm drill. Photo transistors and screw holes are deburring with a 3mm drill. Finished. Fifth, wiring. The preparation is over. Wire all components. I use 28 AWG 6 core wire. You can also use flat cable or thin HDMI cable. Insert LEDs to the top clip so that the center is the anode. Wire to LEDs. Make anode common. Peel off the wire's outer with a length about twice the clip length. Solder to LEDs. Insert the three back side wires into the groove. Combine clip top and bottom. If the spring tension is not sufficient, extend the spring. Thread three wires on the back side. Wire to the photo transistor board. Solder the body ground lead. Wiring is finished. Six testing optical devices. Test optical devices before attaching cover. Main board assembly will be introduced in another video. The pulse oximeter program has already been written in Arduino. Wire the probe to the main board and start the main board. At startup, press and hold SW1 for about 5 seconds. Selection items change each time when SW1 is pressed. Press and hold SW1 to select opt device test. Push SW1 to start the opt device test. Make sure the red LED on the probe is flashing. If the red LED does not flash, check the wiring and others. Push SW1. The photo transistor and IO LED are automatically tested. If opt divides OK is displayed, then OK. Else if error displayed, check the wiring and others. Finally, attach the cliff cover. Attach with acetone or instant adhesive.
it's the end. Thank you for watching. More information is available on my webpage and this channel. Please subscribe me.